So now I have lost my husband, my 12-year-old daughter, and my white picket fence future. Coming up, restoring old. ruined dreams. So I grew up uh, with a lot of secrets because you'd, I didn't want to tell anybody that this was going on in the house. So I just put on masks. So I grew up my whole life putting on more masks and more masks and more layers. Because if it wasn't for my little nine-year-old daughter, I'm sure that I would have done something drastic at that point. There was a night that I walked up and down the hallway thinking, if I could just have a drink, if I could just dull my mind with a drink. And there was a bottle of vodka. Had you been a drinker? Uh-uh. Yeah. No. But you know, everybody has parties and you have a little here and there. There was a little bottle of vodka. And I just wanted to take that bottle and drink it. And I just knew that if I did, I was going to go down that same road as my mom. And so that night, I didn't succumb to that. The next morning, about 11 o'clock in the morning, a car drives up my driveway. And we had a dirt road, so it's dust is flying everywhere. We've got geese, and the geese are pecking at this woman's boots. I didn't know who she was. <laughs> but I thought, you know, she's, she's a country girl. I knew that. So she gets out of the car and she takes a Bible in one hand and a casserole in the other. She walks up to my door, knocks on the door, and tells me that she had been a fan of my newspaper column. I had been writing for the newspaper. I wrote a humor column, if you can believe it, <laughs> about ducks and pigs and chickens and kids in the country. And she says, the Lord has prompted me to pray for you for four months. And I didn't know why, but now I do. And I was just totally blown away that God had sent this woman to my door. Of course, I was very hungry because I hadn't eaten for about a week, so I was <laughs> like the casserole. So we sat down and had the casserole, and then she opened up the Bible. And I was not a person who knew what the Bible was all about. Like I said, I believed that there was a God, and I believed that Jesus died for our sins, but I didn't know you could have a personal relationship with him. She showed me in the book of Joel the Old Testament, how the locusts had come in and destroyed everything, and there was famine, and there was hunger, and there was death, and there was all kinds of sadness. And Joel had come in to say that you return to the Lord, and He will restore what the locusts have eaten. He will make up for what the locusts have eaten. Now, I lived in the country. Bugs, she was speaking my language. <laughs> I mean, God is so good that He speaks to us in well, words we, we can understand. I was going to shed a lot of my, of my guilt and my pain there. And I started crying and I confessed the whole thing. And they said to me, what can we do for you? And I said, you can help me be obedient. Because now I really wanted, I wanted that abundant life that I knew I could have with Christ. And I knew I had to give my whole self to him. So at that point, that's what I did. I gave up the relationship, and I said, I am yours, Lord, no matter what, no matter if I'm single the rest of my life, I just want to be who you have created me to be. Mm.